first you need to select any card that you want to. So let's just say you can call out stop maybe there. That would make this card right here your card. We have the eight of diamonds, which also happens to be my favorite card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lose it somewhere into the middle of the deck. So let's say maybe right there, lose it about halfway, maybe a little bit past half, but as long as we know that it's gone, that's the main point of this trick. Now, it's Ed Marlowe's immediate bottom deal. Here's the thing though, I already did it. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do this beautiful card control. First, grab yourself a deck of playing cards if you wanna pick up this deck specifically for yourself. You can check it out in the description below for 10% off. All you have to do is click the first link below the like button. First, you'll start with any selected card that you want to. So let's say we use the Ace of Spades. We're gonna take it right here and leave it on top of the deck. This is the point where you have to have your mechanics right. So you're gonna come over with your top hand with your thumb in the back, middle and ring are gonna come up top and your index finger is going to be on the top as well. Now you're gonna pick up about half the deck after you've either riffled down, you just pick up some, it doesn't really matter, but you can't do it where you like slide the card down to the middle of the deck because that will no longer work for how this is going to need to be done. So you'll take whichever card it is and we'll leave it face up for this tutorial that way you can then do it face down when you're performing your magic. So it, once again, you're gonna pick up about half the deck after you've riffled down or whatever. So usually I let them choose by saying stop again. So let's say we stop there and I pick up just like this. Now, left hand is going to be in mechanics grip with your thumb down the left long edge, middle ring and pinky over along the right long edge and index finger across the top short edge. Now, what it's going to look like is happening is you're taking your thumb and you're peeling it off and you're dropping the rest of the packet on top. Here's the thing though, that's not what actually happens. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take our middle and ring finger of our left hand, and these are going to be the two main playmakers. So this bottom card right here, which is the queen of spades, I will flip upside down. So you can see this happening in real time. But what happened is I'd be coming underneath, and these two fingers are going to be contacting it and sliding this card out. So it's gonna look like this in real time. You'll be taking it, sliding off, and that card will be the one then in your left hand. Now. Your left hand actually plays more of a role than that though, because although these are just the two main playmakers, your thumb is going to play a part in this as well. Although it's supposed to be just a decoy. Because if you went like this, of course they're gonna know what happens. So your thumb has to mimic the action of taking this off. So realize what you do, do it a couple of times, even record it if you have to, that's what I did. Just record it of what your thumb actually does. What is the movement? That way when you do it here, this is the movement you're gonna do. So make sure your index fingers are here on top, pressing down, that you don't accidentally grab this one as well and grab two cards. So index fingers pressing down so you don't grab this ace of spades in this case, and you're gonna mimic this motion. So now that you've got this motion down, you can combine those all together. You've had their selected cards, so they've called stop wherever they wanted to, cut that to the top of the deck, and now their selected card is the six of clubs. Flip it back face down, they can call out stop. Let's say we're gonna bury it right here. Once again, you're going to fake this slip off while grabbing it with the middle and ring underneath. And it will look like this in slow-mo. They'll take that card there. Their card is now thought to be here, but in reality, you've kept it controlled on the top. So now in real time, this is what it will look like if we do it face up. Stop right here, face up this whole time now. Ace of hearts, you'll lose it somewhere like this. Ace of Hearts never moves, and that's how you do Ed Marlowe's immediate bottom deal. And if you wanna check out my entire playlist of card controls just like this one, you can check it out right up here, and if you wanna pick up the playing cards, you can pick them up right here. So make sure to subscribe for more card controls just like this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is CPM, signing off.